Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to walk you through my little mod hack, camp shower hack. So basically, uh, when we're up the beach camping, uh, what we find to be the biggest problem is finding a shower. And if you can't find a shower, you will use the camp shower. And when we use the camp shower, we struggle with water uses a lot of water so in saying that I'd come up with this little contraption hack I guess you could call it yeah, that's a uh, that's a Bunnings storage bucket so what I've gone and done I bought a two-way uh, tap adapter Bunnings this little fitting here I'll show you what we're going to do with this in a minute. Um, have an old foot stocking. You're going to use it as a filter, filter the water. Um, punched a hole through the bucket with a step drill, 25 mil. And what we're going to do, we're going to take this, put him there. We're going to get this here. We're going to spin him around here put him in here and screw these two together. Once they're screwed together, we'll put this stocking on with a hair tie and that will stop it from catching all the lint and dirt and what have you and pushing that back through back through the pump and through the uh, through the uh, through the uh, shower head. Um, tends to get blocked up if we pick all that gunk up and um, and, um, and don't try and filter it uh, with this stocking. It's you've got two inputs here, which um, increases the water that can get through. Um, and basically, when this is on, um, it's easier just to clean the lid out. Just basically give it a flick and, and give it a quick a quick wash, um, which is good. So from that point there, I will show you it together in a minute but basically it connects uh, to the pump up under here I don't know if you can see it so that hose hose there it connects to it connects to our tub um, catches the water obviously um, from the shower head that we have on the side of the van there then it obviously connects to gas camp shower um, which picks up the water either from that pump there which then picks it up from the tub or we can switch it over to pick up the water from the actual van all right so Connecting this here, we'll chuck him into there, and then we'll, then we'll screw him, screw him together, nice and tight. One-handed, a little bit tricky, but you get, you get the gist of what I'm trying to do here. Um, yep, then one-handed again. stockings you so not in the best of nick but you drag this up here and then basically there you go see if we can get a better picture of this filter filter keeps all the gunk out at the moment seems to be working pretty cool doing a fair job all right so up under here have a little valve I'm not sure you can see it but That'll turn the caravan water on, off. It's on at the moment. And if I grab the shower head here, have have an off-on switch here. 
We'll turn him on. We have, have hot water for our smart tech camp share. So generally what we do, we'll fill it up this way through the caravan tank first. Now the idea is to get enough water in the in the tub so it so it gets up over those uh, inlets high enough that when we do switch it over to the uh, the pump that's going to recycle it, it yeah it runs through that um, you can see there's a little grass and dirt and stuff in there at the moment um, sort of can't help that which is why we put that homemade filter doobie whacker in there. Um, when it does get to there and we do switch it over, you can leave the hot water running and recycling to actually get it to a nice temperature. Um, just makes it a bit easier to um, to um, control the temperature because these these camp showers are the best for trying to moderate the temp. So it's nearly at the it's nearly at the height where it's over where it's over the uh, inlet. So as soon as it gets over there I'll turn it off and switch it to to the actual pump it's gonna recycle it and I'll show you how that goes. Alright, that's full enough. So, we can turn it off here first. Get the shower head. That pump stopped. We'll turn it off here at the stop cock. Done. Just put it with that water first before we switch it. Yep. Now, I'll take this off of here. Plug him on the pump there. Um, and we'll go and turn the pump on from inside here. There she goes. There she blows. Yeah, there's air in there, so. Basically with that set up, we can have long showers and not burn through our water supply. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, press the notification button. I've got some more tips and tricks to show you.